Hi, and welcome to another Meraki Minute video. Today, intelligent packet capture with Meraki Dashboard. As this is an early adopter at the moment, we're going to go to organization and early access. We're going to scroll down and you'll see two for intelligent capture, one for MR and one for switch. So we're going to enable these for the organization. Now you will notice that this may require a license in the future. So we're just going to enable that and click save. Now that we've done that, we're just going to refresh this page because it's not appearing in our menu. So let's do that now. And if we go to network wide, you'll see that we now have intelligent capture. So let's click on that. Now you can do this for multiple different devices, but we're going to concentrate on switches today. I'm going to select a switch, an old MS120 that I have, and I'm going to enable this for all of the ports. We're going to save this to the cloud, and we're going to just reduce this down to five seconds for brevity. Now, we can actually add some filters in here as well, if you wish, but we're just going to click Start Capture. And immediately, we start capturing packets on those eight ports that we selected. Now this will appear instantly in the dashboard so we can go to view capture. And you'll notice that we have everything color coded for you like you're normally used to. But what we can also do is go back at any time and click on stored captures. And as you can see, we've got a report over there. So let's have a quick look at that. Now we're actually going to analyze this as well at the same time. So we've gone through and we've looked at all of the different protocols which are having issues. And you'll notice that in my particular dashboard, I'm having some issues with ARP. We don't appear to be having issues with anything else. And it is just one of the protocol which is having issues. So let's go back. Now, what we can also do is to schedule a capture. And as you can see, we don't have anything there. So we're going to go back to a new capture. And you'll see we have schedule capture down at the bottom. But what we need to do is, again, just select the switch and the number of ports that we want to schedule this for. Now, the scheduling is relatively straightforward and you'll see that we can give this a name so you can create different schedules for different times of the day depending on the issues that you may be having and that's our schedule created we'll just click schedule and we can go back and look at our schedule captures at any time thank you